Hello, this is Vern, and if you feel frustrated, angry, sad about a guy who cannot commit, on today's episode, I'm going to share with you why this happens and what you can do about it starting today. Stick with me. Hello, this is Vern. Welcome to your great life to be.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, heart centered, successful women how you can create the relationship of your dreams and attract the kind of quality man you want as a direct result of stepping into the most alive and feminine version of you. No need for gimmicks, manipulation, tricks, or techniques. Now, if you feel upset or sad because a man that you're with, a man you want to commit, is not committing, there's a few ways in which this plays out. There's a few reasons why this happens. One is basically what he brings to the table. His level of courage, his testicular fortitude, his level of commitment, his ability to go beyond himself and be selfless. That's part of it. The other part, my dear, is you. I have put out plenty of videos where I share what the kind of qualities you need in a man who's going to commit, what he needs from you to commit, but here, I'm gonna give it a different angle today. I'm gonna to share with you today what's your side of the story. If you're with a guy, who, uh, for, you've been with a guy for some time and he's not committing, the, the reason is not just what he brings to the table, but how you're showing up and what your standards are. So here's the first reason that relates specifically to you without removing responsibility from him, but also without removing you from your share of the responsibility. Here's the first reason of one of the things you might be doing wrong that's causing him not to commit. You haven't taken the time to ask him specifically, precisely, actionably, what he is looking for in a relationship, what is his ultimate vision, what he needs from a woman, and what he wants to step into. That's the first thing, that's tip zero. If you don't know what he, where he's going, and lo and behold, six months later, you find him not taking the next step, but he never intended to take the, first, the, the next step, and you could have found out that out on date number one, and I'm not joking when I say this, then that part of the responsibility is on you to not clarify what is it that he's looking for. Number two, you haven't clearly expressed what you need in order to be happy and sustain a relationship for a length of time. Because I have women who say, well, I've been with a guy for three years and he hasn't committed, and it's like, he hasn't committed because you've allowed him not to commit. Because if he had walked away, then he would have either shown up stronger or removed himself from the equation, but either way, you would be better than you're at right now. Sometimes your inability to clearly express, this is exactly what I need, what I'm looking for in a relationship, also creates this ambiguity where he's comfortable with the way things are, and he knows there's zero consequences of not taking action, so he's doing the comfortable thing and sustaining what you're allowing him to sustain. So it's on you also, sister. Number three, being clear with him in terms of what's the ideal time frame for both of you in the best of scenarios. Like if things work out great, if everything happens in a way where you both feel fulfilled, excited, compatible, what's his time frame? Because here's the thing, he might be on a five-year plan and maybe you're 39 and you're on a one-year plan. Why? Because you maybe want to have children and you don't want to be 45 attempting to have children the first time if you can avoid it, right? So because he has longer to get his stuff together and to have children and you don't, you might have more of a stake into how soon this needs to happen and he might or might not be the ideal fit for that time frame, but you still need to discuss it. Otherwise, he's, as I said, he's on a much longer time frame than you are, and he might be compatible with you, but he might, his unwillingness to step up sooner might mean you don't have children, biologically. So because you want to make sure that you get exactly what you want, you need to have a conversation and ask him early on, if things go great, what's the deal? What is your time frame? I mean, what, what seems, feels good to you? And if he's scared of you asking him that question, then don't date him. If a guy hasn't taken the freaking time to figure out what's his ideal time frame, the likelihood he'll be able to do it would be even lower. So have that conversation, clear out time frame, clear out what you both want, and then fourth, and super important, you need to have the willingness, the courage, and the clarity to move away and walk away from a situation that's not getting you what you want. I'm not saying be needy, I'm not saying be selfish, I'm not saying uh, be unreasonable, but if you want a specific life, let's say you want marriage and children, and the guy wants a long-term partnership where he lives with someone, right? 
If that's what's going on, and, and that's not what you want at all, but you're unwilling to walk away, you'll continue getting hurt. You'll continue getting his lack of commitment. As I said earlier, two things will happen if you reach the point of no return, where you either need to move forward or step back. He'll either have the courage to recognize, you know what, I need to be more of a grown-up right now. I need to step more into more responsibility. I need to step into more courage. I need to step into more meaning. Or I need to go back to being more relaxed about it. I need to go back into no, Neverland with uh, Peter Pan and his boys and continue being a child for years and years because I don't want to commit. If he wants to do that, that's cool. Just not do it with you. So failure to have consequences for his actions is number one of the biggest reasons why women don't get the commitment they want. Because again, as I said, the guy will do the comfortable thing sometimes. And if what's comfortable to him is acceptable to you, then you have a match made in heaven, metaphorically speaking. Hope this is helpful, insightful, and useful to you, my dear. If it is, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Thing number one, click like or thumbs up on this video. Thing number two is subscribe to my channel and click the little bell if you want to be notified of new episodes. Thing number three, if you want to understand how to step into the most powerful relationship of your life, I've created a free masterclass. All you have to do is go to the first link under the description of this video, click on that link, enter your name and email, and you'll be immediately redirected to this free masterclass. If you want my help, hand-holding accountability and expertise into customizing a plan for you that works, then second link under the description of this video will allow you to apply to work with me. Thank you so much for connecting with me and as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life. <laughs>